Y'all, hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. Y'all, can you see where we are? We're at the airport. We're going on an adventure, which I will tell you all the details of that. But before we get into all that, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you can keep up with the shenanigans. I got to move before I get towed. So let me do that. Let me find some better light and I'll be back and let you know what we're up to. In the interest of full disclosure, y'all, I feel I need to tell you that I bait and switched you a little bit. We are in fact at the airport and we're going on an adventure, but we are not going on an airplane. Look, the airport's over there now. We had to drive down to Minneapolis to drop my mama off at the airport because she is going home. She is going on an adventure on an airplane. We are going on an adventure in Minneapolis and St. Paul. Y'all, instead of going straight home, which is about a two and a half hour drive north of here, we're gonna go book shopping. I have some used books. Can y'all see that pile of used books in the back of the car? Do y'all even see that? I'm gonna go to Half Priced Books because we don't have one of those up by me. I'm gonna see if they'll buy some of my used books and I'm gonna go book shopping. So our first stop is gonna be Chick-fil-A for some breakfast. Go ahead and shame me. All right, I'm better now. I'll work it off later, y'all. I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A and get some breakfast, and then I'm going to hit half price books. So I'm not going to take you to breakfast with me, but I will take you to the bookstore, so I will see y'all at half price books. We have made it to half price books, y'all. I don't know if you can see it behind me. I just crushed my Chick-fil-A breakfast. Did I ever tell y'all about, I can't believe I'm telling this story, when I was home over Christmas, and it was fairly stressful. My friend's husband had passed away. We were running around. There was a lot going on. And I had maybe eaten Chick-fil-A a lot of times in one day. And American Express shut down my Amex card at Chick-fil-A like I could use it everywhere else. <laughs> but I went to buy Chick-fil-A apparently one too many times in one day. And they said, I'm sorry, ma'am, you have to call your credit card company. And I'm like, I just used this card. So I called and the person was like, yeah, it seems there's been some irregular activity on your card. It looks like the person has the card, but they keep going to different Chick-fil-A's. And I was like, yes, yeah, sorry, that's me. <laughs> it was like they thought no sane person could possibly be going to Chick-fil-A that many times in one day. Never underestimate my ability. Anyway, we're, I can't believe I just told that story. I've got Chick-fil-A on the brain now. We're at Half Price Books. I'm going to go inside and suss out the whole selling of the used books situation. Then I'm going to buy some used books and I'll come back and let y'all know how it all goes. All right. So y'all sit tight and I'll be back. Like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun. Are done in half price books y'all that was super fun i bought one book because all the books i looked at i was like oh that looks good i think i have it oh that looks good i think i have it or i'd find one and it was like number 15 in a series so i bought one book they gave me six dollars for my box of books which i tried to be mad for a second but then i was like all right some of those books were from my actual like physical classroom y'all i haven't taught in the classroom in like 10 years so I had to get over myself pretty quickly. I took their $6 and spent it on my book. So I got a book. I got rid of all of those books. And now in all seriousness, I was thinking that if I got any kind of actual money for used books, that maybe I would come down. This is, I think I mentioned I'm like two and a half hours from home. And I would come down here on a more regular basis and bring books, but y'all, it was $6 for a box of books. So it was good to know that and that I learned it on just sort of like a serendipitous trip, right? That I had to bring mama down to the airport anyway. And I was like, well, on the way home, I will drop off those books and find some other books. So I didn't drive five hours round trip to <laughs> make $6 and then spend the $6 on my way. So anyway, we are done at Half Price Books. We are going to go to... I think it's paperback exchanges next. I don't know. We have three stops that are kind of on the way out of town. So uh, check off half price books and we are on the way to paperback exchange and I will see y'all there. 
We've made it to the paperback exchange, y'all. It's right over there. And apparently, it's in something of a shadyish area. Can y'all see that sign? It says, high car prowl area, remove valuables. So, we likely won't be here terribly long. I'm gonna run inside, see what they have for books, and then I'll be back and let y'all know how it goes. So y'all sit tight. And y'all, hide your tasty snacks, because apparently there are cats prowling about. So y'all sit tight and I'll be back. To dream, believe, in strength now I'm the only one. Only one. That was a fabulous little bookstore. It's just this tiny little space jam packed with books. I was so excited. I think I'm cutting my head off. I was so excited when I left, I forgot to check in with y'all. I backed out of the space and I was like, oh, I gotta pull back in and check in with my friends. Listen to my voice. I'm like, wah. Okay. So it's a fabulous little space just packed to the rafters with stacks and stacks and stacks of books. So I just sat around and read books for like an hour. So now I have to go. We have one more stop to make and then we got to get home. So uh, I will check back in with y'all. So that was the book exchange. The next one is like eat your words or eat my words or eat my shorts or something. I don't know, but I will get there and I will check in with y'all and let you know where we are. All right. So y'all hang out and I'll be back. We have made it to our final stop friends. If I look like I'm a little glowing, I might be. It's because the intern called me just as I was getting out of the car. So I stopped to visit with him, but y'all look how cute this little neighborhood is. So we are headed right over here to eat your words, used books. I'm gonna see what we can find and then we gotta get home because we've been down here forever. And the intern is gonna start to wonder if I've defected. So I'm gonna run in here, see what I can find and I'll check back from the car. Y'all, as you can see, we've made it home. Sorry I deuced out on you at that last bookstore, but you may have noticed when we walked in the door, there were a bunch of like local artists work there like bowls and stuff. And it was just, I don't know, it was fancier and cleaner and it just really wasn't my vibe. It wasn't what I was looking for. Like there were a bunch of books in cases and stuff. So now don't get me wrong I walked around and looked at books and touched a bunch of stuff but I didn't buy anything so I like I said I just wandered around and looked at books and then I left and you can see the weather has turned it's rainy and a little yickety now so I wanted to get home so like I said I am home I only bought two books today but do not fret because I didn't tell y'all this, but I have a whole bunch of books here at the house that I have bought through the mail over the past few weeks or so that we need to haul. So let me haul myself inside, get cleaned up a bit, and we'll get settled in there and I will show y'all what I have gotten in the mail recently. So y'all chill, get you a nice beverage, get settled in, and I'll meet you in the house for a haul. All right, y'all, let's talk about some books. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating a little bit. Sorry about this. 
I've been gone for, I don't know, six hours. So he acts like he hasn't seen me in a month. We're just gonna have to deal with it, I'm sorry. But I feel like I'm cheating a little bit because we went on this adventure to find used books at bookstores in Minneapolis. I got two books at bookstores in Minneapolis and I have uh, piles of other books that we need to talk about. So I, in the interest of full disclosure, now you know, I mean, I told you that before and I think I told y'all that I only got two books. I don't know if I told you what I got though. So I got Icebreaker. I left the price tags in it so I would remember what was from where. I got Icebreaker at Half Price Books. Remember, we got the $6 for all the books that we took down there. So I ended up spending, I don't know, five, six, eight, some, some amount of money on this book. Based on the cover, I'm assuming, because I don't really know anything about it, although I've heard people talk about liking it on the interwebs, but I don't really know anything about it. I'm guessing rom-com and that it's a sports romance about hockey. Now here's the problem, and I've, stop. The problem is this dog's gonna drive me crazy. You got to lay down somewhere. Go lay down, now, go on. I know I love you too. Y'all know my issue with hockey books is Bear Town, right? And I know I need to get past it. I'm working on it. Just, you gotta give me a minute. So I'm gonna try this and we'll see what happens. So Icebreaker, and I got Always the Last to Know by Kristen Higgins at the other one, that second bookstore we went to. I can't remember the name of it. The one that was like the hole in the wall with all the, at the, the Prowler zone, the Prowler area. And look, I got a bookmark. I don't think I got a receipt, which is not good for taxes, but I got a bookmark. So there's that. Y'all, I love Kristen Higgins and I'm gonna go ahead and dig out. I have another Kristen Higgins book that I got in the mail from somewhere, maybe Better World Books. So this one, always the last to know. I have no idea what this is about. I might have known when I picked it up at the bookstore because I sat on the floor for like an hour and read books. I don't remember what this one's about. I think that life and other inconveniences, I believe this is about a girl, a young lady, young woman, whatever, who ends up moving like back to her hometown or moving, moving, moving somewhere to help take care of her grandmother. I believe that's what this one's about. I don't know what this one's about, but I love Kristen Higgins. I've read a couple of her books. I read, I read If You Only Knew or If Only You Knew, and then I read that one a while ago. And then I just recently read Out of the Clear Blue Sky. I think we might've read that together. I might've vlogged it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I went ahead and got two more of her books. So that's those. Now I'm just gonna jump into these. <sighs> Go ahead and put your judgy hats on because didn't we say we weren't gonna buy any more Christmas books because I have a stack this tall of books? I'm gonna have to start reading Christmas books on Thanksgiving to get through all of these. But I got Holiday Lights by Debbie McComber. I know nothing about this, but y'all might already know this story. I read a bunch of books last Christmas and I had a few I don't know, maybe half a dozen romance books in there that I read. And because I read them all around the same time and fairly quickly, I couldn't sort out in my head which books were written by whom. And there was one that I, I wouldn't necessarily say I didn't like it. Like I wouldn't necessarily say that I disliked it. I mean, it wasn't Peace Like a River for the sake of all that's holy but I didn't like it. Like, I don't wanna read any more of that author's books. And I couldn't remember, I can't, I, I can't remember who that was. But then I figured out that it wasn't Debbie McComber. So now I feel guilty because for the last like nine months, every time I go to a bookstore, I'm like, oh, was she that one that I didn't like? So now I feel like I have to buy her books. So I bought this Holiday Lights book. I know. So that's that. Twisted Love. This is the first book in a series. And I believe that it's about a dude named, I have to look, Alex Volkov, who apparently is a hottie McHottie, but he's kind of a jerk. Like maybe he got his heart broken or something happened. So that's why he's a jerk and we end up loving him or wanting to love him, but he's such a jerk, he's hard to love. I don't, you know what just clicked in my brain, y'all? I'm tired, but I wonder, so Benji, whom we love in Beartown, He's not hard to love, but he's, there are things about Benji. 
I wonder if this is going to be one of those. Now I want to read this book right now. I'm going to put this in my read soon pile because that might end up being one of those because you know how we love those like flawed characters that are hard to love, but you love them anyway. And then you end up loving them really super hard. I wonder if that's going to be one of those. So Twisted Love, Anna Huang. Everybody is reading her books now, so I'm going to read that. The Summer I Turned Pretty. Y'all. So my 15-year-old best friend, who is actually my student, not my friend. I'm an adult. I don't have teenage friends. But we jokingly say she's my best friend um, because we were spending like four days a week together talking about books over the summer. It's just a joke, y'all. I don't have teenage friends. She read this book and loved it. And then she read, I think there are four books, either three or four books in the series. She read them all within like a week. And she was like, Miss Danielle, you have to read this book. So I got this book and look how pretty it is. The summer the book turned pretty. So this is at least young adult, if not middle, it's probably young adult, not middle grades because she's 15 and she really liked it. And I think she'd be a, we actually read more of a middle grades book together that we had to read for her summer reading. And she was just annoyed with the immaturity in that book. So I'm guessing this is probably more high schoolish, but I got this and I picked this cover because I think it's very pretty. I got Red Rising, which there's at least one of you out there right now rolling your eyes. I know, friend, I know you warned me. A friend of the channel hates this book. I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was that told me they hated this book. And then when I said, well, I'm not going to read it, she's like, no, don't, don't take my word for it. I got it for super, super cheap, like $2, I think. A lot of people like it. Some people don't like it. So I believe it's about, it's fantasy or science fantasy or something. And about, um... Is it a dude who has to save society or something? I don't know what it is. Maybe his, I don't know. Okay, I don't really know what it is, but I got it. I will read it at some point. It's in my read at some point stack. Ordinary Monsters. I, y'all, I know you got to put the sticker somewhere, but can we think a little more clearly about where we put stickers on books? Ordinary Monsters is about some kids with powers and we follow them. I don't know if we follow them through time or if it's just a period piece that's set in like the late 1800s maybe, but we follow these kids with powers, with like super, not, I mean, extraordinary power. I don't wanna say, I don't wanna say superpowers because that sounds cheesy, but I think they have superpowers through their adventures. That's all I know. I assume they're being hunted or something because isn't that what happens? So Ordinary Mon... Here you can look at the... Look how pretty the spine is. I wonder what the cover looks like. It's a library book, so of course the cover is... Oh, the cover is not pretty. So whatever. The Hotel Nantucket by Ellen Hildebrand. I like her. I've read some of her books. They are like fluffy summer reads, but they're not overly fluffy. Like there's actually some character development and y'all, I know, I never see the twists coming, even when it's like the three blind mice could see it. Sometimes I don't see, often, usually I don't really see it. Her books have some twists built in where oftentimes those like beachy summer reads don't. So I got this one and oh, and I got Barefoot. I don't know anything in the world about either one of them, but I know that I like her writing. So, and I know that the books of hers that I've read before, again, are beachy and they, they're like quick reads. Like you don't have to sit and ponder very long on what you're reading. You can just read. Y'all, I told you we had a lot of books to get through. That's why I wasn't overly concerned about only buying two books when I was bebopping around Minneapolis. Y'all knew we were getting this. The Hawthorne Brothers is book four of the Inheritance Game series. Now this is the, does it say Barnes and Noble on it? This is the, yeah, Barnes and Noble exclusive edition. I think everybody has their own like exclusive editions of books now when they, like if they're already popular when they come out, like there's an Amazon, there's a different edition you can get on Amazon, which I don't know if that's exclusive to Amazon, but whatever. I got the Barnes and Noble one because I thought it was pretty. 
And I think this one has a short story included in it, which I don't know if the others do or not, quite frankly. I just got this one. Well, I got it because I wanted it and because I'm going to read it and because my 15-year-old best friend is obsessed with Jameson Hawthorne. So we have to read book four and we have to read it now. And y'all, my other three books are the like trade paperback. So they're like this size. So I'm gonna have to, when this comes out in paperback, I'm gonna have to get the paper. I know, whatever. So now I'm aggravated with the Brothers Hawthorne, but Brothers Hawthorne, look how pretty it is. So we got that, that came in the mail yesterday, I think. These, so here's a stack I got at the church book sale. I think these are all church book sale books. So I don't necessarily know a whole lot about all of these. This, y'all, I was so surprised when I found this book. This is, again, stickers. I know, it's a, it's a library book. What you gonna do? This is a book in the Hunger Games series, which I thought I had read all of the Hunger Games books. Come to find out, this is a sequel. It's the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And yeah, I think it might be like the prequel, like the way prequel, like before all the other ones. So I have more Hunger Games now, so I got that. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Again, um, church book sale. Y'all look, it's pristine. A dollar. I got it for a dollar. So this is the first book in the Throne of Glass series. So I'm going to add this to the other like 14 Sarah J. Mass books that I need to read. Got that. Oh, getting all excited over here. Tammy Hogue. I know nothing about her, but my mom says I will like her books. So I got this one, The Boy. I'm guessing the boy disappears and we have to find him maybe, or yeah, I don't know, something about a boy. If you've read it, let me know. Riley Thorne and the Dead Guy Next Door. Y'all, this is by Lucy Score. You know that name because Lucy Score wrote, is it The Things We Never Got Over? the things we left behind or the things we leave in the dark or something. I have those books. I haven't read them yet, but I think this is a comedy. And I think Riley Thorne is a hot mess. And then there's something about the dead guy next door. I'm actually excited to read this. I don't know why. I know absolutely nothing about it, but look how fun it looks. And somehow I ended up with like a stack of yellow books. What? So we got... Riley Thorne, we got Miss Cicely's Recipes for Exceptional Ladies. And this, I think, is about a, a woman in like her 40s-ish who's having some kind of midlife crisis. So she goes and volunteers and meets this like older lady and they strike up a friendship around food or they make food, something about food. And then they have recipes for exceptional ladies. I just thought this was so cute and it looked like so much fun, I couldn't help myself. And then, Gone for Good, Harlan Co Coben? No idea, absolutely no idea. It's a suspense thriller. It's probably gonna scare the bejesus out of me, but it's yellow, I don't know. Apparently I was on like a yellow day that day. Susan Wiggs, Lost and Found Bookshop. I like her. I have a couple of her books and we like books about books. So, got this one. <sighs> Project Hail Mary may have been the score of the day at the church book sale because y'all check this out. Absolutely pristine. It was a dollar. And y'all are probably thinking you are shameful getting all of those books for a dollar at the church. I let them keep the change. I made a donation, but no one, I haven't seen anybody have anything negative to say about this book. It's my understanding that it's about this dude is the only survivor on a space mission and what he, oh yeah, yeah. it's the, uh, he, Andy Weir is the author of The Martian and which has nothing to do with anything, but I just saw that. And I thought that was true. And that just reminded me that that is true. So I think this guy and his mission has to do what it's doing. Like it has to succeed to save the earth. I believe that's the case here. But yeah, like rave reviews for this book. I just whacked myself in the head. 
Y'all, I should not own hardcover books. Remember the video I did when I kept, when I was talking about tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and kept bashing myself in the head with it? I, I should just use soft books from now on. From Love and Ash, I saw, so like the fifth book in this series just came out and I saw it at the bookstore and it is beautiful and I wanted it so, so much, but it's like the fifth book in the series and you can't start with like the fifth book in a series. So I found this one online. This is the first, y'all, look at all of the, can I don't know if that's focusing, but look at all, this is all of, like all of these books are written by this author. Cause that's what I need is to get into another author that has a bazillion books. But anyway, so I saw her new book, Jennifer, Armin Trout's new book in the bookstore. It was beautiful. I wanted it. Fortunately, I looked before I bought it and realized that it was like book five. So I got book one. And I got Magnolia Parks. I know I'm way behind the times. This is, I think they're on book three or book four in the Magnolia Parks, Parksiverse, the Magnolia Parks universe. I've not read Magnolia Parks and y'all, I have looked airware for the hardcover. I don't know why, I'm now obsessed with, even though I'll probably just bash myself in the head with it. I'm obsessed with the hardcover of Magnolia Parks and I can't find it. So I just, this just came out. I think that's what got me like all brain churning about wanting to find the hardcover because the paperback just came out. So it was all over the place, like all over all the websites and stuff and the bookstores and the displays and the things. But the, and I don't love this cover. I don't know. I don't love this cover. But anyway, Magnolia Parks, I believe she is in a relationship with a dude and like he's mean to her and she's bad to him and they're like bad together. It's a toxic relationship and they just can't stop. And so people either love it or they hate it. Like, I don't know if you can say people that don't like toxic relationships because who likes a toxic relationship? But... Sometimes you like to read about a toxic relationship, let's be honest. So anyway, I think some people like it and some people just can't, just cannot because of the toxicity of the relationship. We'll see what we think. So I got Magnolia Parks. And y'all, I think that's it. <laughs> Do y'all wanna see this pile of books? Hang on. So we got two books on our adventure and four piles of books waiting for us when we got home. <laughs> y'all, thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. If you made it all the way through this adventure, we are most definitely friends. So go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you can keep up with the shenanigans. I upload food and fitness videos at the beginning of every week with some book videos sprinkled in between. See you on the next one.